fish, you can use one big fish like we did and slice it up like that. Or you can use several smaller fish and we prefer snapper, but you can use your fish of choice. So first, put a bit of salt. I know some people don't use salt, so you might be alarmed, but we are not that health conscious over here. So we're going to make sure we get both sides, every side of the fish salted. And if you're keeping the head, make sure you get inside of the head too. You don't have to use any salt at all if you are watching your blood pressure or, you know, you're just health conscious because you have the other seasonings, but we use salt. Next, some all-purpose seasoning. We're using Jamaican Choice. And once again, make sure you get every side of the fish. Don't mess anything. You want it to be so full of flavor. Okay. Next, we are going to use some black pepper. We're using coarse ground black pepper, and you don't have to use a lot. Just sprinkle a little on both sides of your slices of fish or your whole fish. Okay, next, sprinkle some onion powder on there. Make sure you're getting inside the head and on both sides of each slice. Just like that. Okay. Next, we're gonna look around a little bit, think about life, and then we're gonna use some garlic powder. <laughs> okay, so same thing as with everything else, both sides. And most importantly, we are going to be using some betta pak curry. It's our favorite curry. Okay, I think it's every Jamaican's favorite curry. Leave a comment down below and let us know what your favorite curry is. Okay, make sure you get both sides. Okay, and then we're going to rub all of this in make sure you got every part of the fish. You don't want one part of the fish to have all the seasoning and then the other parts have none. Okay, so rub it in. But be careful, don't let the bones poke you. If you have bone in fish, which I think most Jamaicans will, you can use fillets if you want to but we did not, so be careful if your fish has bones. Okay, cut up some onions, scallion, hot pepper, green bell pepper, ginger, and leave them to the side. Put some oil in your pot and let it get hot. We're using corn oil. Okay, now don't let the oil get too, too hot before you add your curry. But you do want to put the curry in and let it cook for a few seconds before you cut the fish in. Just a few seconds, literally. Don't let the curry get too dark. Okay? 15 seconds. We can time it and see how long we took. Okay, so just put the fish in. Lay it on whichever side you want. And you're going to let it cook a bit on one mm -hmm. side before you flip it over. I'm just going to go in with my Not too long, just let it cook for a little bit. So, you know, this is not brown stew fish, okay? But let it cook a little bit on one side. over so that the other side can cook up it too. Be careful guys, it's really easy to break your fish apart when you are handling it, so be gentle and take your time. 
You can use tongs if that's easier for you. My mom is unprofessional, so. <laughs> she is a spatula. I guess I would have used a spatula too, but it would have taken me longer to flip each piece. Just because I'm afraid of getting burnt. Oh, look at that. See? So easy. She makes it look so easy. So now, so you're just going to let it cook on the other side for a little bit as you did the first side. Once both sides have gotten a bit of searing, you are going to make a space in the middle of your pot, schedule again, or you're a professional like mama, then you can use your hands. Uh, I would not try that at home. I would not do that. <laughs> but she's been doing this forever. So now put your first seasonings in onion, scallion, your hot pepper. And you're just going to let these saute for a little bit. So you can, you know, release the flavors, get everything in there. Okay. Smells so good. And once you put everything in, you can put the slices of fish or your whole fish back in place while they continue to, you know, just cook and sweat a little and release the flavors. Okay. You want to spread them out, but then you can put the pieces back in place so that they continue to cook. Okay. All right. Now, Remember that ginger that we have sliced up, you're going to drop that in there. This is where you put all your fresh seasonings in. You can also put thyme here. We're going to add it a little later. It doesn't matter when, really. So that's the ginger. And you're also going to add a bit of pimento and vinegar. Okay, so just pour a little vinegar in there. I would say we don't measure, so guesstimating about a tablespoon of vinegar, not too much. You don't want it to be too uh, tangy. So just a little bit and then toss your pimento, allspice, same thing. Just toss that in, just a few, not too much. Okay. And as I said, we don't really measure, so yeah. you, know, you need some water. I'm not sure exactly how much, but you'll see. So, just a splash of soy sauce. I would say that was yeah, a teaspoon. Let's say a teaspoon, maybe half a teaspoon. Okay. So once you've added all of that good stuff in, you're going to go in with some water. That's how much water we use. Not too much because you don't want to add too much water to fish because it doesn't cook for very long. So you won't have time to simmer it down and you'll just have way too much water if you're not careful. So it's better to put a little bit and then add more if you need it than to, you know, have your fish swimming around. All right, so let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Come back and check on it, see how things are going. And give the pot a little shake so that it doesn't stick. See how things are going. We added our time in there. Let it simmer for another 10 minutes there. Check on it, see how your gravy is going. We need it to simmer a little bit longer, but it was a perfect time to put in our green bell peppers. You can use any color you want. You can use red and green and yellow and orange, whatever you like, but they do have a distinct 
tastes. So we only like green bell peppers and curry fish. So that's what we are using. We don't want to put them in too soon, but we only had about 10 minutes left to simmer this down because as you can see, it's looking so good already. It smells so good. So you can toss the peppers in when you have about 10 minutes left to go. So we just let that simmer some more until the gravy had thickened. As you can see, it's looking so good, it's ready to go. Look at that. Okay. Wow. So yummy. Tell us down below what you are going to serve this with when you try this recipe. We are a rice loving household so we had this with hot white rice and some steamed vegetables bok choy carrots so yummy okay thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like comment and subscribe leave a comment down below with the recipes that you would like to see thanks guys see you next time